Hey, what's going on, peeps? So I am actually, I look rough because I did drink some wine last night and um, I am DJing this weekend at an intimate party for Dynamic Strange Tinge. It's the owner's birthday and, um, well, his 40th was in March, but basically we're going to be DJing there on the weekend. Um, I am actually, for the first time, going to be DJing out my DDJ 400s um, because, or the second time maybe, I can't remember. But what I've noticed is that my DJing is I have more fun with the controller, with the effects, because I'm used to it, rather than having decks that takes me a while to familiarize myself, blah, blah, blah. But I've got USB as a backup anyway. Um, I should try to find another USB. So I'm going to be taking my DJ, uh, DJJ 400 controller. I've also got my tripod, um, my Pioneer headphones and my laptop I'll be taking with me. Then I have packed so far um, a few jumpers with my makeup and then obviously loads of outfits to choose from. Big eyelash is great. I'm going to be taking back a sleeping bag. Another rain jacket, always come prepared with loads more outfits. Um, and then I've got some of my booze. So this is like, but then on the flip side, I've got my dissertation proposal due on Monday. So I've literally got going to be taking these two books with me, which I'll be reading in the car. And then... Um, I have I have to do the literature review, which I'm busy with now. So we're gonna be leaving like an hour and a bit. So I've just finished packing, so I'm done and I don't forget anything. Oh, this hard drive, I better pack straight away now. So I don't forget that because that's got all my music on. So the idea is I'm busy with my dissertation proposal right now. So the idea is that I do an hour worth, worth of research and um we're going to be driving there um and then i'll do another maybe hour or two tonight and then um i've got to sort out my music for tomorrow so i just have to sit put them in folders that's all and i, I want to buy some tracks as well um i'm not gonna lie i could have been a bit more organized with everything but it's just sometimes this is what happens um, I have to do my nails as well tomorrow, but I'm really excited. I only have to grab a few things in the kitchen, which is some bits and bobs. Maybe we'll need some food camping. I don't know. Um, I doubt it, but just in case. I don't particularly want to be messing about cooking, so let's hope that I wouldn't have to. That's it, basically. I finished packing. I've just it's just this literature review which I'm busy with around right now, which is like the most time consuming, because I've just got to think of my approach and stuff, which is a bit interesting. But this weekend I've taken as like a holiday weekend because I haven't been to like an outdoor festival like this, like even if it's intimate, for a very long time, and this is like the first. I, I was craving a break, I was craving a break. It, technically, I'm not having a break because it's only tomorrow which I'll be having a break and then I'll be back working on Sunday night and then Monday all day. Um, but I'm confident I'll be okay. It's just I have to get some... My aim is I have to get either half of the literature review written tonight or I have to get at least all the resources so like all, like I have to do all my, get all my research papers that I want to use for the literature review so that all I have to do is Sunday is just type the literature review, which is the most part of it. And then I can finish the rest of the essay on, on Monday and submit it. But I've basically got my research methods, my background um, just needs to be clarified. I'm a rational. And then everything else is basically filled in. So like... We're there, we're just getting there, but slowly because of the context of the situation. But um, I'll read to you what my 
dissertation is looking like so you have an idea social economic equality of the creative of southeast wales to explore and understand the creative persona within a social economic value proposition and then I have to define what social economics is in the context of the research and then describe what creative is. So far, I've just got like independent musician. But social economics is definitely social class in um, payments, income, education, that type of thing. It's all a bit up in the air. It's looking like dog's breakfast at the moment. Anyway, see you on the road. We are on the road! Hey! This is Grace, she's amazing. My little sister, <laughs> oh, another <laughs> mister. Um, we are on the road finally, and we are... We finally. Just, <laughs> yeah, finally, it took forever, but we are on our own time, to be fair, so it's good, you know what I mean? Very yeah, relaxed time. Very good, very good. So, i am got my amazing work <laughs> i've got papers to read and well i've got my music <laughs> and well, the driving <laughs> yeah exactly well grace does her her thing and we're just gonna stop at mcdonald's now because we deserve it like 100 percent. and that's it really nothing else to say but i am tired <laughs> it's wet <laughs> it's so wet yeah so much rain do you know it's going to be standing here tomorrow and it's going to be raining there? Are you actually having a laugh? I'm not having a laugh. Dude, I didn't pack anything to wear. That rain-wise. I got my, um, I got my, uh, what do you call it? Waterproof. Should be chilling. You'll be dancing and it's undercover. Yeah. So you'll be fine. We'll be fine. Do you know what I mean? We'll be fine. Dynamic stretch tents, you know? We'll be fine. I'll bring my wellies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was just thinking, did I bring my boots? I was like, no, no, I bought everything. <laughs> I packed, like, forever. Cheerio! We'll have a McDonald's. Um, we will see you later, boo. <laughs> what, what, what's it like a Mac, McDonald's review or whatever? Uh, McDonald's review. Something. Yeah, McDonald's <laughs> review. Our McDonald's is shocking sometimes. <laughs> <sighs> we have McDonald's and everybody's at McDonald's. <laughs> Everyone else had the same idea as us. Everybody's freaking McDonald's vibe. It's a big old. <laughs> literally story of my life yeah literally my dad's gonna go mad at me if i found it if he found <laughs> <laughs> it's all right dad i'll try not to scrape the side of the car this time <laughs> Right. Oh yes. my god, yes. Baby. Yeah. It's all about the fries, isn't it? Mm hmm. Mm. I'll just eat a few chips and then I'll put them in between my legs and we're off. <laughs> Bro. Bro. Thanks for stopping. You're welcome. Oh my god, do you want ketchup? Uh, I'm, oh. I'm sorted, mate. You got ketchup. <laughs> mm. 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 You know what? Sometimes I put a film on my phone and sit in the McDonald's car park watching it, eating <laughs> food. Like, how I much would do the same. Mood? How much of a mood? 100%. When I can't be asked to sit in the four walls again, it makes me feel less depressed, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Different environment. Exactly. Yeah, once a day. Shit. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Hit me. Do Not you, what, me, what way do you eat your order? Do you go fries first, burger second, or burger first, fries second? Depends how hungry I am. If I'm hungry and I want the, the burger, I'm fucking having the burger first, you know? <laughs> but what about the chips being cold? 
because if i go okay let me put this chips on down for a second and i eat the burger then the burger is for freaking nice but then the fries are cold you know what right i had this issue the other day <laughs> i was eating cold mcdonald's <laughs> chips yeah for like mm -hmm. a few hours after i went there i thought right now it's time to eat yeah let me get around to eating it went to eat it fucking cold <laughs> the chips i ended up eating because i was just so hungry i had nothing else to eat so i just ate them out of like pure didn't want to waste food bro mcdonald's chips when it's cold is not a they weren't they were ming i was like mm. Mm. well then they taste like oven but, chips but sometimes don't get me wrong mm. cold chips from mcdonald's sometimes can be gorgeous but other like it depends on depends on mcdonald's which mcdonald's you go to innit that's what i think anyway bro if i if i'm getting cold fries i've got a problem yeah of course but like sometimes if you just leave them there of your own fault it isn't mcdonald's fault is it <laughs> what are you gonna do two hours after you've ordered it go back and go sorry my fries are cold <laughs> i all i got them two hours ago i've been sat in my car you know true but also, they're hot when you leave well not, not all the time lukewarm. lukewarm but these are good these are like mm -hmm. hard hard these are not that trip. busy mm -hmm. anyway i had to just clarify that because comment down below what's your strategy mm -hmm. of eating mcdonald's if you don't like mcdonald's i'm sorry <laughs> just skip to the next segment <laughs> <laughs>
kept these toilets up. Freaking nice. So good. So cute. 